Hello, my name is Clara Peters and I am going to be giving my informative speech over the labor and delivery story of my daughter Scarlett. This event took place on November 22nd, 2016. Approximately at about 3.30 in the morning, I woke up and I was having some pretty severe pains. I didn't want to think that I was in labor. I was in denial. I feel like every first time mom is. So I tried to lay really still on my left side, really still on my right side. That wasn't working, so I got up was moving around that made it worse i tried to drink a couple bottles of water thinking i was just dehydrated which that's what was causing the contractions and that didn't help either i tried to take a warm bath that didn't help so i had to call my mother-in-law to come get me to bring me to the hospital because at the time my fiance was working nights and he wasn't going to be getting off until five o'clock in the morning and I was just too impatient, so I wanted to go to the hospital to get checked. So if I if it was nothing, I could go back to bed. But obviously, it turned into labor. I went in, and I was one centimeter dilated and ninety percent of face. Dilation is how open your cervix is, and effacement is how thin your cervix is. You have to be able to be ten centimeters dilated and 100% effaced in order to deliver the baby. So they informed me I would be monitored for an hour. They would come back and if I progressed, great. If not, then I would get sent home and just come back when contractions were stronger. Well, about 20 minutes go by. So at this time, it's about 4.30 my contractions were really strong and pop my water broke i called the nurse in there and i told her i either peed or my water broke and she confirmed that it was my water she moved me from my triage room to my delivery room so at this point i had to call my dad and my brother and let them know hey this is serious I'm actually in labor and I'm not leaving this hospital without my baby and I, that made me so excited. I had my mother-in-law call my fiance and all his side of the family because with me being in so much pain, I really couldn't do it. So once my fiance got off work, he went home, showered, came up to the hospital with our hospital bags and my mother-in-law at that point left. We were able to get maybe an hour of sleep and my doctor came in to check in on me before she went to her morning clinic and she informed me at that time that I was already at seven and a half to eight centimeters and a hundred percent effaced so I was completely thinned out and I only needed about two and a half centimeters to go and with the anesthesiologist involved in some c-sections for that morning that I probably would not be able to get an epidural. And at that point, I almost had a panic attack because I was in pain, but I knew that at that point it was bearable, but when I delivered, I really didn't want to feel that. So I pretty much begged her, please have him come in between C-sections, try your best to get something done so I can have the epidural. So she said, let me see what I can do. And about 30 minutes later, the anesthesiologist came in and he was able to do my epidural. After I had my epidural, I was already at a nine. So I only had one more centimeter to go. And the nurses informed me it shouldn't take too much longer, so we invited the family to come back to the hospital in order just to have some time with us before the baby was born. And then, of course, they could be there for when, after she was born, they could come in and see her. So everybody at that point that was up there, I felt like it was a party, was me, my fiance, his mom, his dad, his sister, my dad and my brother and my dad's wife at the time and so we were all joking around 
and a nurse comes in and is like, well, let me check you one more time, and I'm at 10. So that means it's time to have the show on the road. They kicked everybody out except my fiance so that I could have my baby. And at this point, it was kind of scary because I was young, I didn't really know what I was doing, and I was petrified. So we tried to push, and at that point, my doctor still wasn't there, but as a first time mom, they informed me that it can take a while. So I pushed maybe for 30 minutes, and they told me, don't move, don't, don't laugh, don't sneeze, don't cough, nothing. We need to get your doctor in here. You're about to have your baby. So a couple minutes later, my doctor comes in, was able to deliver her, and it was great. Had the epidural so late that I couldn't feel anything. They usually like for your epidural to wear off, but I got it so late that I didn't feel anything, and it was perfect because I had a nine pound, one ounce baby girl named Scarlett, who was 20 inches long, and that was the terrific event of my daughter's birth. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.